M. Anira. Introduction The coronavirus disease 19 COVID-19 is the most concerning issue on the planet. SARS-CoV-2 is another name for it. COVID-19 is a newly discovered coronavirus strain that can cause respiratory infection in humans. It first appeared in Wuhan, China, World Health Organization 2020. The Chinese government notified the World Health Organization at the end of 2019 that there were several cases of pneumonia which are now etiology. According to the National Health Commission of China, coronavirus patients may visit a seafood market in China that sell live animals, for example, bats and rabbit. The primary host of coronavirus is humans who consume infected bats for food. However, the virus can also be transmitted from person to person through close contact. The first COVID-19 case in Malaysia was discovered on January 25, 2020. The number of new daily coronavirus infections had significantly increased by March, prompting the Malaysian government to announce nationwide movement restriction on March 18, 2022. Despite initial success in reducing infection rate, which nationwide movement restriction gradually relaxed by March 2020, a new wave of infection began in September 2020. The number of cases has risen once more. The COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia has had a significant impact on the Malaysian economy, causing the Malaysian ringgit to devalue and the country's GDP to fall. The pandemic also had a negative impact on several key industries, including entertainment, markets, retail, hospitality and tourism. Aside from shortages of goods and services, many businesses had to deal with social isolation and lockdown restrictions. Hi everyone! I am Kurasha and I will present about the article that discuss about the issue. The information in the article state that COVID-19 is a worldwide issue. The majority of COVID-19 patients have respiratory disease which causes breathing problems. This because the virus can kill anyone at any age by taking the human respiratory system. A patient with the illness visited a seafood store that sold live animals like pets, according to the National Health Commission of China. Their main feeding source is deceased pets. On 24 January 2020 was the first case of COVID-19 in Malaysia. The impact of COVID-19 in Malaysian economy can be seen when an employment increase in Malaysia due to the fact that the effect of COVID-19 on the nation led to the closure of numerous local industries. During MCO Hormone Control Order 2.0, only five industries are permitted to operate during regular business hours that are manufacturing and construction, service commercial and distribution, and plantation and commodities. As we can see from the graph from the Department of Statistics Malaysia official portal, in 2020 is the year with the highest unemployment rate compared to the last five years which is 2015 with the record of 2.2% people who are unemployed due to the spread of the COVID-19 epidemic. The government is worried about this since, despite the passage of only fear year, the jobless rate has increased significantly. One of the results of COVID-19 epidemic's propagation is the falling value of the ringgit against the dollar. According to the graph, Malaysian currency rate is 4 ringgit 26 cents for 1 USC in July 2020 and depreciated to 4 ringgit 74 cents for 1 USD in November 2022. This shows that the value of the Malaysian currency is decreasing by by day. This Malaysian import was a resources, including eggs. The decline in the value of the currency will affect everyone. Other than that, the COVID-19 outbreak has an impact on the tourism industry. Tourism sector play an important role in the Malaysian economy as tourism sector will be able to extract various foreign investors to invest in the country. According to the graph, on 2020, 40.4 RM billion expenditure and continue to decrease until 18.4 RM billion on 2021 because of lockdown in Malaysia ordered by the government. This shows that the spread of COVID-19 epidemic is preventing tourists from coming to our country. 
is because the absence of the risk caused many investors from abroad to withdraw their investment as causing the country economy to decline because the absence of investors can reduce foreign income currency exchange. Hi, I am Shafika. I will explain a bit about the macroeconomic theory that related to the impact of COVID-19 in Malaysian economics. The transmission of the COVID-19 virus contributes a significant threat to the macroeconomy due to such a halt in output, difficulties in people's movement and problems in supply chain networks. The coronavirus strain COVID-19 has the potential to severely affect not just the Chinese economy but also the world economy including Malaysia. As a result, Malaysia's total import, export and trade balance have decreased from December 2019 to January 2020 when compared to the overall import, export and trade balance which improved from November to December. Malaysian exports increased as the virus spread in Wuhan, China in early December 2019 but imports decreased due to an improvement in the trade balance from November to December 2019. Yet, Malaysia was among the first countries to respond to numerous quick actions in order to defend its people from COVID-19. The primary goal was to reduce the economic and social consequences, control its growth as well as provide treatment for its own people. Despite the contributions made to tackle this outbreak, COVID-19 has created fear, worry and misunderstanding among Malaysian organizations and communities at wide. As an outcome, most organizations have their staff working from home and some employees have been forced to quit working. Aside from that, the foreign exchange rate may be used to measure the relative level of economic stability. This is due to the fact that the foreign exchange rate has a significant impact on a country's volume of trading. As the cost of imported raw materials increases, lower exchange rates likely cause cost push inflation. This will have an impact on practically all sectors in Malaysia particularly the industrial sector because the majority of machinery is supplied from China and Japan. A falling currency reduced the purchasing power of the Malaysian ringgit. Malaysians' living standards are dropping as their purchasing power decreases. The COVID-19 outbreak has a widely different level of impact on Malaysian economic activity such as a sharp but temporary decline in domestic consumption during the pandemic, possibly a reduction in investment, drops in tourism and business travel, spillovers of slowdown demand to other industries and economies through trade and production linkages in which there is a supply shortage to production trade. Demographic. The global was struck by COVID-19 in 2020 and the World Health Organization, WHO, proclaimed a pandemic on 11 March 2020 when more than 180,000 cases of coronavirus infection emerged in over 110 nations and regions throughout the world and this number continued to increase. Malaysia was not exempted and the government's main action in controlling the spread of the pandemic was the execution of the Movement Control Order and CO, which meant the entire closure of business operations as well as urged work from home and home teaching and learning PDPR, was initiated under the Conditional Movement Control Order CMCO and the Recovery Movement Control Order RMCO. The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the economy of the country may be observed in the fact that economic production in 2020 fell 6.3% or RM196.8 billion to 2907.1 billion, down from 3103.9 billion in 2019. The services industry saw the greatest decrease in gross output value amounting to 115.9 billion, negative 9.1%. This was followed by the mining and quarrying industry, which accounted for 40.4 billion, negative 34.9%. The construction sector, which accounted for 39.2 billion, negative 18.5%. And the manufacturing sector, which accounted for 6.9 billion, negative 0.5%. Conversely, the agriculture sector improved its gross output by 5.7 billion or 7.2%.
The COVID-19 crisis has also deeply affected the Malaysian labour market and Malaysian workers. The country saw an exceptional trend when the unemployment rate hit 4.5% in 2020, the first time in over three decades. Aside from that, stringent compliance to COVID-19 preventive actions has restricted business operating hours, resulting in a decrease in working hours and influence on income earned. The outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic has caused our country's economic development to be severely affected and as a result, many of our people have been laid off. The closure of operations for the majority of businesses during the MCO, which was extended until April 2020, has had an impact on job losses and caused job seekers to find it difficult to find work. The working population most affected is in the manufacturing and service sectors, namely accommodation, as well as food and beverages, arts, entertainment and recreation, as well as other services such as beauty centers and saloons. According to the data from Macro Trends provided by the World Bank, Malaysia unemployment rate for 2018 was 3.30%. In 2019, it declined 0.04% from 2018, which it recorded 3.26%. However, in 2020, the start of the pandemic COVID-19, it was up to 4.50%, which indicated a 1.24% increase from 2019. It even increased slightly higher in 2021, when it reached 4.61%, improved by 0.11% from 2020. Hi, I am Hanisa. I will explain about the newspaper that related to the impact of COVID-19 in Malaysia economy. The impact of COVID-19 on Malaysia economy can be seen via high unemployment rate. Unemployment in Malaysia increased again to 768,700 people or at a rate of 4.8% last June. According to the latest labor force statistic by the Department of Statistics Malaysia, the recorded rate was due to the implementation of the Movement Control Order (MCO) in full that month in response to the increase in new daily cases of COVID-19. Due to the COVID-19, the number of working population decreased by 0.5% to 15.3 million people compared to 15.37 million people in May 2021. The increase in the unemployment rate in 2020 is largely influenced by layoff by companies affected by government measures in controlling the COVID-19 pandemic. Implementation of the movement control order starting in March 2020 has caused many companies to be unable to operate as normal and caused an increase in termination employee. This will have a lot of negative impact on the society and Malaysian economy. When a person is unemployed and has no job, their standard of living will become low. Because of COVID-19, there are a lot of people has lost their job and their financial income did not stable during pandemic COVID-19. When there is a lot of unemployment, this will affect the Malaysian economy and during the enforcement of the movement control order, the country has lost a lot of resources from all aspects. Our country economy is deteriorating and not developed. COVID-19 has also had an impact on the value of the country's currency. The value of the ringgit start to depreciate against the US dollar from the second week of January 2021. Devaluation of the currency will cause imported goods are more expensive. Conclusion Overall, the impact of COVID-19 has had a negative impact on the Malaysian economy, causing unimaginable harm to the country and the world. This pandemic has caused thousands of people around the world to face hardship such as being unable to work or being laid off by employers because companies limit the number of employees to prevent the virus from spreading further. Furthermore, because people do not have a fixed income, they must do a lot of work at once. Malaysians, on the other hand, can rise up because the government provides allocation or assistance to the people so that they can meet their basic needs. The government also took step by coining the phrase work from home, implying that employees who must relocate to work do not need to travel. Instead, they can work from home. They will be able to restore their income as a result of this. As a result, all citizens must work together to defeat this virus so that it can be eradicated from the country and we can resume normal activities as before the pandemic.